Hello everyone. One part of statistical thermodynamics is complete. Now, in its another part, we are going to discuss statistical mechanics and classical thermodynamics. In the very first lecture, in the definition of statistical mechanics, it was said that it is the link between quantum mechanics and, and classical thermodynamics. So, definitely, we have come to know that individual molecular properties that is that is the microscopic properties that might lead to the quantum mechanics while there is a very interesting and important function which is known as the partition function which plays the role of a bridge between statistical mechanics and classical thermodynamics in the determination of physical significance of f it was found that this is nothing but the number of available energy states at any temperature range. So, in its second part of lecture, we are going to discuss how this F is related to the thermodynamic functions. So, our today's topic is statistical mechanics and classical thermodynamics. Let us find out the relationship of internal energy with respect to F. Now, the system has the absolute energy E from its molecular energy or from, its, from the energy of its particles and this energy is definitely described by epsilon if it is uh, the particle is residing in the ground state its energy is described as epsilon zero and if it is residing in the ith excited state then its energy is epsilon i so these are its absolute energy and Hence, the total energy obtained from this absolute energy is nothing but the internal energy of a system. So, internal energy, which in thermodynamics written as U, in statistical mechanics it is written as E. So, this E and U are same thing. So, U is nothing but E. And E has the expression sum over I, Ni epsilon I. Now, we have the expression of Ni in terms of F. If it is a non-degenerate system, then the expression is n by f e to the power minus epsilon i by kt. Therefore, u can be written as here in place of epsilon i. If in place of n i, we can write n by f e to the power minus epsilon i by kt. <coughs> Hence, this is the expression of u in terms of f. So, u can be written as n by f sum over i epsilon i e to the power minus epsilon i by kt. This is equation number one. But we know that f has its own expression f equals to sum over i e to the power minus epsilon i by kt. So if this f or the partition function is differentiated with respect to temperature, then it would result in one by kt square sum over i epsilon i e to the power minus epsilon i by kt. Okay, so you know how to do this differentiation, how this result is obtained. Now, if this equation is rearranged, then this summation part can be taken to the left hand side, and in the right hand side, you can get the expression kt squared df by dt. So, this value, if uh, inserted in the summation part of equation 1, then equation 1 can be written as u equals to n by f now the summation part okay so what is the value of the summation part now it is kt squared df by dt so the ultimate expression is n kt squared by f df by dt now if this f is merged with df then it becomes df by f and this is nothing but d ln f so the ex final expression of u is n kt squared d ln f by dt okay Therefore, internal energy as a function of partition function can be expressed as this one. This is equation number A. This is one of the fundamental equations in the statistical thermodynamics where internal energy is expressed in terms of partition function F. Okay, so the expression is nkt squared dlnf by dt. Now, if it is a one gram mole of gas or in the system there is one gram mole of particles then n is nothing but the Avogadro number. In that case, 
n the small letter n can be replaced by n0 which is the representing the Avogadro's number so in that case internal energy has the expression for one mole of substance n0 capital n0 kt square dl and f by dt and what about the each, uh, average energy of each molecules the average energy of each molecules in that case you have to divide this by n0 this is the energy of n0 number of particles so if it is divided by n0 then this n0 would be cancelled out then it would become kt square dl and f by dt so this is the average energy for each molecule or for each particle so that's all about the relationship between internal energy and partition function f thank you have a nice day